up everyone we're back again and today we are doing another custom handle for mitchell white essex bricklayer cheers mate thanks for getting in touch with me about this uh, this handle we're going to get straight into the process i'm not going to show you how i mark it out you've all seen that if you want to see that process go over to my channel check that out and we'll get straight into this okay we're over at the lathe let's see how this transforms and I'm using, to rough this out, a roughing gouge. Let's get straight into it, people. Okay, we're down to round now, that's lovely and round. So next on to shaping the end. Now what we're using is a spindle gouge look how razor sharp that is absolutely so sharp it's untrue i will do a sharpening video on this another day on how to sharpen your tools it's a very simple process with the uh, tormek tts 100 setter so i will show that another diet let's get into it Now what we're using is a spindle gouge. Look how razor sharp that is. Absolutely so sharp, it's untrue. I will do a sharpening video on this another day on how to sharpen your tools. It's a very simple process with the uh, Tormek TTS 100 setter. So I will show that another diet. Let's get into it. Okay, 
In between going round, we need to sand up the grain to get rid of the circular scratches that it leaves. Always going that way because obviously the grain's running front to back. The grain. back over this with a 120 because I can just see a bit of a tool mark in it there, I don't like. So I'm going to sand that out, and there's one there on the end. You may not be able to see on the camera, but I can see here. Just a little ring that goes round the, round the handle. That'll stand out like a sore thumb when it's, when it's up there, boiled up. Come on, you beauty. Very difficult to get it out once you start sanding over it on a finer grit. If you don't get rid of it now, you'll never get rid of it. Unless you get the tools back on it and get it spinning on the lathe again. Just a bit of uh, information there for anybody that does want to start doing this kind of this kind of work, wood turning. And it is very, very, very simple to get into, but very, very expensive. So if you've got plenty of money, which I haven't, then get a lathe and get started. It's a minefield, you spend thousands on tools, lathes, sharpening gear, timber, oh God, it goes on and on and on and on. And you see something, you won't start, I won't start doing resin, resin castings and resin turning, but you need all different gear, pressure pots, oh, it's a minefield, absolute minefield. But I will be investing in one, so look out for that, we're going to be getting on that shortly, definitely, so. I mean, some of the different projects I've got coming up that I've got in mind are already making me that excited. Just to show them you. That tool mark was perhaps a bit big, really. I probably could have gone back over it with my chisel. But I think we're down now. That is beautiful. I don't know if you can see the grain in that, but wait till I get some oil on there and wait till you start to see that go pop. Looks absolutely gorgeous and it feels so nice in your hands. Mitch, you're going to absolutely love the feel of this. I think this is even better than the other one that I did. Oh, it feels lovely. Oh yeah, gorgeous. To be honest with you, it feels that nice like that. Well, I am going to carry on standing. So here we go again. We're starting 240. We'll just take it down, just give it a quick rub up and down the grain. Don't want any of them scratch marks in it. I don't know, Rich, me, uh, Mitchell ringing me back up saying, hey, I'm happy with this lad, I'll be back. I don't want no comebacks. Do we Mitch? What are we done? Okay. this phone isn't isn't great but if you could see this grain here now I mean the colours coming out of it oh mine's gorgeous absolutely love it I don't know what it is about wood whether it's just a natural material that grows that's what I'm so interested in or what I don't know but I just love it look at all those all that checking coming out in that now checking he says 
What the hell's he on about checking? I am finishing this with Danish oil. One, it'll protect the wood. It'll give it some barrier of water protection. So it'll be lovely. Just get, give it the nourishment that it needs. Oh yes, it is lovely. Loop at that. Let's uh, pull that copper ring down a bit. We've got plenty in there. We've got plenty in for you, Mitch. Make sure this piece is really, really soaked well. We will get some on the end once it comes off the lathe, but for now. I'm in the mood. Right, I'm going to get it off the lathe now. Just tell me what you think of that, guys. Just look at that. Just look at that. Tell me what you think of that. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think of that grain. How are you feeling, that? That is beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, I'll be back with you in a minute. So, there we have it. Mitch, there is your new trowel handle. And I will be sending it out for you tomorrow, my friend. So, if you want to have a, a sneak preview, that's what it's like. The, oil, the Danish oil is still wet on it. Look at that. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Very nice. Okay, this is the handle all finished. Just give it a bit of a twirl around. We'll get the orco focus somewhere. Look at that grain in that wood. There we go. 
So, okay, Mitch, that's your handle complete. I will be getting that wrapped up and getting that sent out to you to Essex first thing tomorrow morning. Thanks a lot, mate. Thanks for watching this video, everybody else. And until next time, nice and easy, guys. Thank you.